Hi, so if your emails look something like this or your messages in Teams or wherever you're collaborating or writing something, you are wasting loads of other people's time. So today we're gonna go through the bluff method of writing actionable messages that get results. Hi, I'm Gavin Jones. I help organizations save time for their employees by getting them to work in a more modern way. If you need help doing the same thing, then we've got lots of free resources in the description below, including a couple of free courses. So check those out. Or if you want a call to get your best next step towards modern working, then book a suitable time for you using the link in the description below. Got new videos on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams coming out every Tuesday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time one of those comes out. So here's our fake email, but one that's probably a lot more concise than I've seen around in a corporate environment. And it's just not bad. It's, uh, it's just the title. It doesn't tell you what is needed from the person that's receiving it. And as you're reading through, it's like, it's just, I was thinking about maybe this, maybe the other, but it's in the chronological order of how they're thinking through it, rather than thinking about the recipient receiving it and all of the stuff that they've got on their plate. If you're sending it to your boss, he's probably got less time to do stuff than you. That's why he's employing you. And you need to help them out by being more action orientated. So as you go through, you get all the way to the end. So what do you think about this? What do you think about the other? The last line is, shall I book, you know, getting the team together in for you? Great idea. But then it's like you run all the way through and you hit the, you know, what's actually needed from the person that's reading it. And they're like, all oh, right, cool. Shall I book it in? Yeah, cool. I need to go and reread all the way through till they get back up to speed. Again, this is a fairly concise uh, example because it's one I just wrote myself. I've seen emails that are really, really, really long. You don't really know what you're reading it for. You get to the end, it's like, oh, cool, right. That's what you need from me. Now I need to go back and reread everything through to actually get my opinions to then write something back. So rather than doing that, a better way is two things. One, put in the title what you need. So if it's you need a decision, just put decision needed or whatever you decide. Decision needed, team meeting on profit generation. Something like that, because that's what you actually want to do. You're thinking about his thoughts about how to increase profit and actually the action you want from your boss is, look, shall we get a team meeting and get everyone together about it? I'm happy to do it. So first thing, they see it, they know the decision's needed. So when that's in their inbox, it's like, cool, I can quickly scan or filter or sort or whatever, all the things that I'm actually needed to. You can change that to action needed, whatever you, if it's something that you actually need action on that's not a decision. Or if it's just for info, you can do FYI or just to put for info. Whatever acronyms you decide as a team, stick those as the first bit of your subject. So what do you think so far? If you're liking this video, remember to give it a thumbs up because that's the best, easiest, cheapest way that you can help the channel in the algorithm. Also let me know what you think of the bluff method in the comments below as we go through. Second thing, write your email. If you want to write it as you're thinking, that's fine. But then whatever the bottom action is, the, usually the end thing as you're thinking through it, just move that to the top. So bluff just simply means bottom line up front. And what I like to do is always stick a link to what bluff is, because if you go and Google it, like my boss did when I was in corporate land, you might get a surprise of uh, some leather bound men. So avoid that and go and get the Wikipedia link and stick that in there for someone else so they don't have that same misfortune if they don't want to see that at work. Um, so go and stick bluff, shall I book, this in for you, obviously they won't know that is, so you need to change that a little bit. So shall I book a team meeting to discuss these ideas on profit maximization? Cool, I know exactly now as I'm reading, can't spell though, I know exactly what I'm reading down once I've read that, that top line. So let's go and get, it's not that one, so definitely don't, don't click on that one if you're at work. It's this bluff communication. Go and copy that Wiki Wikipedia link and stick it in for anyone that doesn't know what that acronym is. Control K or Command K on a Mac is the hyperlink on any application, which uh, more surprised a lot of people don't know. Stick that in there. So if they don't know what bluff is, it's cool. You've got a link to going back. So bluff, shall I do this? And then just more info. And then you can have all of your thoughts down there if you want. 
you might want to reorder those into something that's not a complete brain dump and uh, give them some options. So maybe split out option one, two, and three regarding profit. Maybe we do a little bulleted list. One, two, three options. Do you think this is a good idea? So again, you're referring back to the top at the end as well. You can input your bottom line up front at the end so they don't need to go and revisit it themselves. So that is just a couple of easy tips to get your messaging way more action oriented. You're likely to not get lost in someone else's email inbox if you're waiting for something back from someone. Obviously, if you follow this channel, why are you sending internal emails anyway? You should have moved everything into Microsoft Teams because you can save up to four hours per person per week by getting everything that you work on internally into Microsoft Teams. If you need help doing that, then there's a link in the description below to help move yourself or your organization towards that. There's a couple of free courses. And if you want to jump on a call to get your best next step towards that, then happy to do that with you as well. But click a link in the description below to find out more.